if that fight doesn't present itself, where are we with Javonta, Devin, Ryan? Where are we with that? Don't ask me. Ask these guys because I tried, you know. We tried, you know. I tried to uh, – Bob Arum um, and ha Haney's team was supposed to meet at Bob Arum's uh, office, and uh, they never showed up, you know. So – you know, and Tank Davis, you know, he has his own thing with Mayweather, and Mayweather is pushing him to somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything about that. Mayweather's Mayweather. Mayweather is is the the champ of this era, the champ of this generation. So what can I do on that end, right? So he's gonna have his fighter and push him that way. And Ryan Garcia was dealing with his mental uh, situation, you know, and he feels better now. He's fighting Jojo Diaz, like. All these guys are, are fighting something. I'm here and I'm just like, um, so what'd you say? Okay, you call me a duck. Okay, you said this. I'm like, so where's the contract? Like, hello, I'm here. I got my hands open for a reason. You know what I mean? My hands are always gonna be open. Like, hello, hello, <laughs> you know? And it's kind of humorous and, 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 and um, it's kind of humorous and and uh, interesting how they carry themselves on that you know what i'm saying so you know i think that in reality i've kind of seen how how my sport really is which has been a has hurt me to my core like my heart is broken for what i've seen in my sport for sure like my heart is broken um you what's good family so mash the like button subscribe and lick off the bell so we just heard there from your man's Tiafim Ho Lopez. Now, actually, what can I say on this one? You know what? Let's start with the bottom line. The bottom line for me is Lopez is saying here he no one wants to fight him. But guess what? Loma wants your bad. Yeah. So yeah, don't get me wrong. We're gonna get to, we're gonna get to you what you said about Haney and Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. But bottom line. You can do all the talking you want. Loma wants you. And I believe he's earned the right to get that fight with you. You beat him once. He wants you bad. And them last five rounds, you know. Yeah? You know. That's why you don't want the rematch. And what, what I don't rate about Tiafim Ho at the moment, the reason his name is Tiafim Ho is because he said yes, then he said no. Do you understand? Fair enough. Or you can kind of understand. If a man comes out and says, no, Loma, I whooped you. And that's the end of that. Fair enough, but one minute the rematch was on, then it was off, then it was on. You sound scary, yeah? You sound, you're indecisive looking ass. Loma whooped the indecisiveness into your head, obviously. Or oh, sorry, he whooped, <laughs> he whooped the decisiveness out of your backside. You ain't got no decisiveness left. And now, you're, now that goofy duck, Cambosos, is out of the way. There's no one but L Lomachenko. But then again... Your man, Tifimo, he calling out Josh Taylor. He says he wants the 140 guy. Now, I'm not sure, because we know Josh Taylor has Jack Catterall as a mandatory. I don't like that fight. I think it's a scrub fight, but allegedly it's a mandatory. Now, I'm not sure if he could have offered an undisputed with Tifimo instead. Yeah, champ, champ, undisputed. 135 versus 140. Why not? Is that not a possibility? They could have maybe even offered it, but who knows? The point is, Cambosus is out. Loma wants your bat. And yes, you've alleged Devin Haney went missing. Now I heard Bill Haney, Devin Haney's pops, on the boxing voice. And he was sounding a little suspect. He weren't sending no offers out. Yeah? Bill Haney got aired out on the boxing voice for not sending no offers. You say you want them fights, Devin. You ain't chasing them fights. You ain't hunting them fights. You ain't thirsting for them fights. I'm sick of people saying, in boxing, ever since Mayweather times, there's been a whole narrative of ducking. He ducking him, he ducking him. But what you'll notice is, no one's sending offers. All these people talk about ducking, yeah? If, some, if, someone was, if I wanted to fight someone, yeah, and I thought people were ducking, guess what I'd do? I'd come out publicly, and I'd post emails, I'd post contracts being sent and for a long time I've always thought this wait a minute if people are really ducking why don't we see any contracts why don't we see any evidence because think about it it's a bit like when Luis Ortiz ducked AJ guess what 
Eddie Hearn or Lewis Ortiz thought he was smart. And his goofy team, they thought, oh yeah, we're going to get off on Team AJ. We're going to get off on Eddie Hearn. Next thing you know, Eddie Hearn posted receipts. Team Ortiz had to apologise for lying. So the fact I don't see any of that going on. Devin, where's since, look, since T. Fimo Duckinger, where's all the contracts you've sent? You're with the zone. They've got big pockets. Where's the contracts you've sent? Where's the offers you've made? Oops, no offers. T. Fimo's even now a legend, as you heard, that you were supposed to come down to top rank and you weren't there, you're missing. So do you want this fight and are they ducking or not? Now Tank Davis, listen, <laughs> let's not even get into Tank. <laughs> I don't know what Tank doing. He stayed running around with Floyd. He stayed wasting his legacy with Floyd. Floyd doesn't want someone with power coming along and ruining his legacy. His legacy was the no power having ass legacy. He, he sees the potential in Tank and he, he wants to ruin it in my opinion. He knows Tank could potentially be the powerful version of him. Don't forget, there's a reason people were calling Tank the 135 Mike Tyson. No one ever called, called Floyd that and he don't like that. Floyd's envious. Yeah, Floyd's got Napoleon complex. He don't like the idea of people being better than him. So he's keeping Tank Davis fighting bums and small people. Unfortunately, but Tank, he can't see past his hand. Tank is a hood dude who gets paid some little change and he thinks it's big money. He could be making 20, 30 million dollars, in my opinion, if he was having real fights over time. Instead, because he's a hood dude, he's getting paid one, two million dollars and being satisfied with that, which is understandable, obviously, but the point is, think bigger. Tank could be big, big, big. In my opinion, Tank would wash Tio, but again, we ain't never going to know that because Tank doing some goofy thing with Mayweather. Meanwhile, Tio out here ducking Loma, but no one's applying pressure. Even even Loma, to be fair, why ain't Loma pressing and pressing Tio? Loma should be out. This is the thing I wonder about these management teams. You know, I understand top ranks got to be neutral kind of thing, but from the manager doesn't. Whoever to I mean, whoever Loma's manager is, should be out here, in the interview, all in the video, Diddy style. Listen, Loma, I mean, listen, Tio, don't be running off to 140. We want you badly down here, yeah. You ran away from us because we worked you in the last five rounds. Prove we don't have your number. Prove we didn't. F pr prove we don't have you running. Prove we don't have you scary. Yeah, you're 24 years old. I'm an old man. Please don't tell me you're going to run from an old man. I swear down, yeah? All these fighters need your man's to YB on their team. Number one, to manage their careers. Number two, to get get the fights done. Because I'll be, listen, Teal will be trash-talked all the way out of here. I'll make him sign. Because like, you best believe I'll stay on his neck till he sign. Because by the way, that's the fight the fans want to see. The fans don't want to see Teal versus Cambosis. Never even heard of Cambosis before. The fans want Tio versus Loma, and everyone should be pressing for it, but unfortunately, guess what? Loma ain't even really pressing for it like that. Loma, at once every three months, Loma will say something in the press. Some moist thing. And no one, what's that going to do? You need to be out here, in my opinion, once a week, Loma should be actively out you. In the interview, in the video, on the Twitter. In fact, even, even on a daily basis, I'd be pressing Tio. People would think, wow, Loma's obsessed with Tio. You're damn right I'm obsessed. I'm rock hard for him. How about that? And now Tio's been allowed off the hook. Tio got Devin Haney missing. Devin Haney said no contract. Yeah? Ryan Garcia. Got to, God knows where he's doing. He lost his head somewhere. Yeah? Ryan Garcia down bad. Ryan Garcia going through it. He missing somewhere. Oh, oh, my, my head. Oh, not feeling well. Oh, that's Ryan Garcia. He threw it. He on, he on, he, he listen. Ryan Garcia, he on TikTok somewhere. He ain't trying to fight, he on TikTok. Hey, you man, leave Ryan Gar Garcia alone. He on TikTok. Yeah? What do you mean? What do you mean he's to fight Tio? What do you mean he's to fight Tank? He on TikTok. Yeah? Leave your man's Ryan Garcia alone. He on TikTok. He busy right now. Yeah? He do he doing the models on TikTok. No doubt. But Tio, listen Tio. Let me listen to your theme, ho. Let me say something right now. The fans and Loma want you. Yeah? And no one's trying to watch Cambosis. And no one's trying to watch any other goofy fight you try to put on. We want to see Loma fight. And fair enough, everyone else ducking you. Fair enough. 
Devin Haney, you all talk. You ain't said no contracts. And your pops admitted it. Your own pops admitted you ain't said no contracts. So Devin Haney, you're washed. Don't want to hear no more about Devin. Devin, until you send contracts, until you get Eddie Hearn to zone to send contracts, I ain't trying to hear nothing from you. All you do is stay talking. Now with that in mind, T.O. Loma. Simple as that. You with the same management team, same everything team, get it done. Not no Cambosis, not no Bumbo, not no Bumbosis, not no Josh Taylor. From now on, I want you and Loma. Then after you win that fight, then you can think about Josh Taylor. But until you've beat Loma, you, there ain't no questions of Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor too big, too strong. Yeah, he's from the UK. He's gonna go in there, elbows in, chin down. And listen, like I said, you got worked by a five foot five Lomachenko. What do you think five foot ten UK born Don gonna do to you? Yeah, he can tear that. He can tear that. That sweet. That sweet booty up for you. You best believe that as well. Just like Lomo's in the last few rounds. He was getting tore up. No doubt. Yeah? Lomo, listen. What we do know is, the last five rounds, Lomo was running a train on you. 100%. A one-man train. You got one-man trained. No doubt. Fix up.